ITIL is the world's most popular IT service management framework. While there are plenty of benefits to studying ITIL, one of the biggest has always been the diversity of the ITIL certification path. You'll have enough choice to be able to focus on modules which are relevant to you rather than having to cover all of ITIL in one go. You'll begin with ITIL 4 Foundation. This offers an introduction to ITIL and its approach to ITSM, including its guiding principles and the service value chain. At the end of this stage, students should have a clear idea of the terminology and taxonomy of ITIL 4, as well as how ITIL can be used to support other ITSM frameworks. Once students have passed the ITIL 4 Foundation examination, they can then move on to the intermediate modules. The ITIL 4 certification path has two intermediate tracks to choose from. The ITIL Managing Professional track contains the modules Create, Deliver and Support, Drive Stakeholder Value and High Velocity IT. Meanwhile, the ITIL Strategic Leader branch contains the module Digital and IT Strategy. Each branch also contains the ITIL Strategist module, Direct, Plan and Improve. Luckily, this only needs to be taken once. Completing all of the modules in a given branch will earn students the corresponding titles ITIL Managing Professional or ITIL Strategic Leader. Once a student earns both intermediate designations, they can then apply for the rank of ITIL Master. If you have an ITIL V3 certification, don't worry, it's still valid. However, with all the new examinable content in ITIL 4, there will definitely be value in updating your qualifications. The ITIL Managing Professional Transition module can allow ITIL V3 practitioners to earn the ITIL 4 Managing Professional designation without having to start from scratch. Once this is done, a student only needs to take the ITIL Leader, Digital and Strategy module to also earn the ITIL Strategic Leader title. To qualify for the transition module, you must have either an ITIL V3 Expert Certification or 17 or more ITIL V3 credits. Because of this, students currently earning credits in ITIL V3 are advised to keep going until they have 17. The skills and competencies covered in V3 are still highly relevant, so they'll be definitely value in continuing your studies. However, if you've only earned a foundation certification in ITIL V3, it may be faster for you to start again with ITIL 4 Foundation. Remember, there's so much new examinable content that even the ITIL Foundation syllabus has seen major updates. More details about ITIL 4 certifications, including how students can earn the title of ITIL Master, will be released throughout 2019. Want to hear more about how you can become certified in ITIL 4? Visit goodylearning.com or contact a member of our team today.